Here's a shot. Let's put this in full. There's no sound. And shpabow. All right, cool. So for this one, what I would say, this is a good shot you can find online in terms of reference. And I'm curious if that's if that was your starting point. Like I would have some reference in here. And this could be one clip. This could be copy-paste of multiple clips. Just to get the action going. In terms of just the complexity of the move. I do like that you have this little up and down, over, turn, into all of this. It's definitely, it's definitely cool. I think the main comment that I have would be readability in terms of just how the camera is placed and the action. And the timing of the direction changes and the hang time and drop, especially like a weight issue. So what you could do, you mentioned this is just the body mechanics exercise. So it doesn't have to be, you know, super polished in terms of characters in the back, other players, maybe it's in the park, whatever it is, it doesn't really matter. I would probably still have it more around here and start him so that the action, like this is okay because you're moving in this direction. But once we're here, A, we're covering the character's face, and it's very much two camera where it's very flat. Like, you don't see any type of spine line of action change in all of this. Whereas, imagine the character, instead of going like this, even though I like the contrast from this and having a turn like that, you might benefit from the beginning of him actually walking this way and then shooting... Where it's not towards us, but it's more like this. So you just kind of turn him around so that he's shooting this way. So we have a bit more of a change where he might be hunched over, getting ready, and then stretched out to shoot since it's a somewhat of a jump shot. What is this here? Tippy toe. But still, you can still have a change there. And then after that, you can still have a turn into this. Now, that being said, you were mentioning here you got feedback on this shot in the past. You've been working for a while, so this might be too much of a destructive note. So feel free to ignore <laughs> if you don't want to. You don't want to continue on this. So to me, at the very beginning, it's just the readability because it's so flat to camera. The bigger issue issue in terms of timing and spacing would be as he comes down here. You have this moment where if you track the nose, the neck, the top of the head, wherever you want. You come down, it comes to a very harsh stop where you can see it's almost like he has his head resting on the table. And only arms kind of drop. Like This is all kind of frozen. So watch out for, like in your graph, it feels like we're something like this. Like in your in your TY, it's only locks and a linear key and then it's fairly flat. Even the root doesn't do too much, but it's mostly a lock in here. Then you have a bit of a strong move up that's, it's, it's a hop getting ready it's not it's not an explosive jump where you need to be super poppy in terms of a linear key so i would still ease into this a bit more and same thing with the return if you track his nose he's kind of stuck in 2d space so if you track his nose and you know, it's kind of staying put there and then it suddenly pops up and then up and then suddenly pops down where this is more your arc as opposed to easing into this and having a softer return same thing with this. This feels, again, you have this, bam, this um, invisible table, surface, whatever that the body hits. So, again, missing that kind of an ease in and ease out of that change of direction. So, it feels very blocky and linear. Even this here, as you shoot up, you have a sudden pop to the right that then suddenly locks. Let's pretend you even ease into this move. As you're initiating a move like this, the momentum, you have to change direction and it takes time to change especially since there is not a leg on this side that will push him back this way this will be like pure the, the the balance regaining balance maybe through arms like shifting arms over core muscles for him to change direction so this feels just a bit too rough and linear and like i said this section through there and then same thing here so you turn go down this feels a bit better you're starting to ease into this a bit more but then we're a bit locked so you come down a bit locked through there and then suddenly we have this one frame you can see this here bam one frame pop down and then suddenly changing direction and again this is there's enough speed for him to move where meaning that as he changes direction this leg has to push this way 
it's going to take a while by a while you know three four frames depending on the style in your case three four five frames to go and turn and in this case we have this again this wall here you can see this how the body just hits this and bounces off basically this is either there's a wall that the character bounces off there's another character that that uh, kicks the guy <laughs> get out of here so it doesn't feel like the weight is observed in terms of a weight change it takes a while to change the direction and to push off with this leg my example for students is always not that you're you know a student i know you know your, your background and you've, you've worked but imagine you have a car which is floating clearly but imagine a character is pushing and the car's pretty heavy it takes a while for the car to move now imagine after a while that car that car is moving and now your character is running around the car to push against it so the car comes to a stop and goes the other way this is so heavy that you the car will go slowly move and then you push against push against oh it stops it stops and you push 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 and it slowly moves over clearly the car is heavy heavy but it's the idea of you have an object that goes to the right or left whatever but it goes in one direction depending on the mass and the weight and the momentum and all of this to change direction it has to come to a stop and then the force against it to turn now finger wiggles for instance right there's nothing you can wiggle your fingers really fast hands a bit slower arms again a bit slower head again a bit slower and then the root you can't wiggle as fast as your fingers so this is one of those cases where imagine this is a small car that moves and someone is now pushing the other way so it's going to take a couple frames for that car as in the root here to stop and change direction hope that makes sense but that's what i would look at same thing here spacing wise where you can see we can track the head goes over there and then bam where is it here in this frame hits a wall again and then it's it has even like a pivot off of here where you're moving this way and you're countering the head this way giving us a bit of a pivot as opposed to coming in here and then you start and ease in and then it would ease into here to then go up so imagine your arc like this and you're easing into this stop and then explosive out again all that is a bit missing where it feels you hit this wall and even this here it feels like a, a really strong linear pop in your roots that suddenly goes up now it can be more explosive here i don't mind too much it could be here the next frame maybe here and then here where you start that push and then bam explosiveness but right now it feels just a bit too linear and the same thing here so you're up there and i'm seeing a lot of changes in spacing where you're starting to have an arc and then up here we suddenly pop down pop really down to the left but then we're suddenly going almost up again but suddenly pops to the left and then it slows down a lot after all of this move this spacing is too small here and then we lock again in this space it doesn't there's no forward momentum anymore and then suddenly we drop down into that as opposed to again the an, an arc i know it's tricky because you're having the mechanics of a jump and then you hang on so it is going to stop a bit, right? Your root is going to stop and do this. That I understand. But there's an overall momentum to the left that's going to continue. So if, even if you're here on that next frame, you're going to have your shoulders that are being pulled up. So your body from this to this, the head would be lower, shoulders would be lower, this would be fully stretched. The fingers might be just at the edge of the rim. You want to feel that extension and that pull gravity-wise. And then it's going to have a swing to go forward. But it's going to be something like this. You go, you jump. The rim stops this. Swing forward into a drop. And not what you have here. Where we're doing this. Stop and then suddenly drop through there. So watch out for that. And then same thing here. We're having a very strong linear pop. Where we don't feel the compression just yet. This wouldn't pop forward so quickly you would have first a compression with the with his leg and then he might even still be leaning back a bit and then as you come down he will compress into this but then we also resting here so if you look at the overall momentum when he jumps it would be landing even let's pretend this is an arc that goes backwards like this right we're tracking this all correctly this would be your final arc to come down it feels more like forward maybe one more step here it feels like we have so much movement forward here and especially with this sudden rotation forward that 
for him to suddenly stop and get up is again too much of a a loss of energy where we're suddenly changing direction and, and resting as opposed to that leg is going to take a step forward and it's going to end up more here and then we cut out so to me that's the biggest issue there are some other things like clarity of posing where i would have that leg up here um just for silhouette reasons that gets a bit better then here I have a bit of a tangent where the the shins are aligned you have a tangent here and here there's some stuff in terms of posing but that to me is is not as important just looking at the body mechanics it's just too rough in place in terms of spacing and weight and direction change um and yeah that's what i have there let me know if that makes sense uh i would start with that you mentioned that you want to do acting shots in the future so you can also just not keep working on this and just keep those notes in mind as you move on with the new shot but that's solely up to you that's how the workshop is structured and that is that for me and that's it thanks all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you